whatever you do from a campaign perspective should be measurable in terms of growth you give data numbers in terms of anything but the whole campaign that you do if it's not measurable in terms of its output right then you're not able to analyze what you've done i'm a journalism graduate during that time is when i identified okay my my interest towards the subject and that's what that's why i wanted to kind of specialize in the subject uh so my specialization is in copcom and pr from bombay since a years and that's where i got to speak to a lot of veterans of the industry it gave me a lot more perspective and um, after college is my first job was in bombay itself with avian we i've been fortunate enough to work across sectors like um, aviation tourism C tech, E tech, food tech, and now E tech. So that's 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 a very generic overview of my journey so far. One of the large clients that I used to work with, which had an access to a lot of data, was Amazon. So the kind of data we had on the platform in terms of consumer shopping. their preferences and how has their preferences changed especially during covid lockdown there was a high surge in online shopping we were able to use that data to kind of show how the shopping preferences have changed and one of the bigger insights we've got is how the generation before us of our parents got into the whole world of e-commerce during the covid time because then they were also hesitant to go out and shop so all these data and the insights we got from data proved to be very very strong points of narratives from an e-commerce perspective that helped us strengthen our communications a lot so that was i'd say by far one of the biggest exposures of data we had in terms of predicting consumer sentiment predicting consumer preferences and we were about we were able to kind of uh, work around a narrative to kind of strengthen using that whole lot of data that we had we have a huge student community right and there also we get to look, know a lot about student preferences with data in terms of the markets they like to go to the foreign countries and what attracts them to those markets whether it's healthcare whether it's something else so a lot of preferences in terms of consumers and customers you get to know them more with these data back insights and that becomes a very important part of your communication to hit the right chord with the media the biggest challenge for communicators as a whole is how do you break the clutter there's there's a lot of communications across brands that goes out to the media now how do you get that attention of the media saying okay this is an important story that you need to cover how do you reach that point and that's what data helps you a lot with you can tell strong data backed stories which gives them the insight of what the industry looks like right now and if that if that gives them the outlook of what it will look like in next 6 months i think that's what attracts the media to your pitch to your story and data helps you break that clutter and get to your right audience in terms of media the most important metric point for me from a comms perspective is in the end in terms of output in terms of impact how are you able to measure what you've done output is basically anything that you've done and then you see a conversion in terms of media exposures coming but that's not where it stops what's the impact you've made which is one step further if you've made a considerable uh, let's say psychological change in terms of consumers preferences changing that output becomes the most important metric for me as a comms person i look more at industry reports those give a lot more insights um, especially in, in in the sector that we are in lead right now is as a very very niche sector right study abroad is very niche and it's very tough to find such industry reports as well and that's what something that we've been doing with wiki as well is to build the brand report in the industry space 
to to kind of give that insights leverage the power of data that we have in terms of students to have surveys done and to understand the insights of what why and how are they doing it right and that brand reports become a very important industry piece not just for our brand but for across the industry and stakeholders so those cb analyst insights let's say reports counterpoint reports all of these reports become very very important analytical insights that we get that drives the business as well and from my perspective it drives my communication as well i think data is uh, most certainly going to take the center stage it's already taken the center stage right the narratives of brands are going to be more focused on the data that they have and plus additionally with data brands are associating themselves with a cost so cost driven communications are also taking a very important focus a lot of brands wants to index on costs on their vision of why they are in this field and why should customers see them as a brand that makes a difference every brand wants to make a difference and i think when you align that vision with the communication of the brand and your communication becomes more cost driven rather than you tell them what to purchase you tell them what is the value of your product and if you're able to communicate that cost to them it becomes a, a lot more effective so data as well as a cost driven value driven communications is going to be you know, the top focus in the, probably next 5 to 6 years that that's going to take the center stage I think the first and the most important thing is look beyond traditional PR. Traditional PR works, but now we are in a space where there's a lot of disruption. Disruption has happened. The media is shrinking. The media, in terms of the correspondents they have, the people they have at desk is shrinking, but the number of PR professionals are increasing. There's one community going small. There's one community becoming big. So now, how do you? how do you manage that so you have to go beyond traditional pr you have to index more on social pr you have to index more on cost driven pr and that's and that going beyond traditional pr is what the new people who come into industry should push for should look at rather than just focusing on traditional pr and i think that's going to be the biggest driver of growth for the pr industry as well as as a whole when i look at it